In this game, we are going to be coaching IIIMMXV playing as the Abyssey Dynasty versus the English Marty SCZC. And uh, we do know that um, we'll just call him MMXV here does lose this game. So we'll be looking for some things to improve upon. And uh, he's put himself out here for everyone to critique. So thank you for keeping the comments as constructive as possible. We are live on Twitch right now doing this. So you'll hear me talking to Twitch chat. But if you are watching this on YouTube, leave some comments below with things that you see or things that I got wrong. And uh, feel free to check us out on Twitch next time uh, we're live. Okay, let's do this here. Uh, we're going to hit play. So we're going to be looking for ways to improve here. The Abyssey Dynasty. Now I've played a little bit of Abyssey. I haven't played a ton. You know, I've played a lot of Delhi lately. Okay, that was a little weird split there. What is... Okay. Okay, it's not, not in the world. Okay, that was a little bit weird split, but I do weird things at the beginning with my villagers sometimes. So going right for the berries. Now this civilization does have a gathering bonus for berries. So the, um, I like this. I am going to keep the perspective. Fog of War uh, clear here. What map is this? I think this is Mountain Pass? Uh, no, it's Lipany. Sorry, Lipany. Yeah, okay. Just so we have uh, the most clear... Uh, idea of what was going on here so he's opened with uh five bills on food he has then gone to gold and then one on the house of wisdom i don't usually build my house of wisdom this early i, I would prefer to get a lumber camp down first and then build my house of wisdom i'll be curious what uh some more of the uh abyssey mains in the chat have to say about that um but i think i, I prefer to be able to get some wood because now, in order to get your lumber camp up, you're going to have to do some chopping of these close trees, which isn't the end of the world. Um, but I imagine your age-up time should be pretty good. We've got six on food, three on gold. Getting lumber camp's going to be slow. Lumber camp first for sure. I think you might find varying opinions on what to do there. Um, I, I think your age-up time will be nice. Yeah, because the hall's really doing nothing for you until you're aging up. Um, so as far as like the exact nitty gritty of the build order for the opening, I haven't like, exactly grind that. But I think you maybe could consider. Uh, it does look like maybe some uh, consensus in the chat that going for a lumber camp uh, before the House of Wisdom maybe could have been a better option here. Uh, but this is going to be fine. But uh, it's something uh, to consider. Obviously, so the House of Wisdom costs 50 wood. You got to build it. I know I find myself forgetting to build it sometimes. So if it means you clue up on time, it's worth it right there. Okay, so we've got eight villagers on berries, nine on berries, three on gold. Everything's pretty good right now, right? Small, you know, things maybe, you know, we talked about maybe we could go for lumber. Let's look at your scouting pattern. Um, scouting looks fine. Uh, so nothing too much to see here yet. I'm going to speed up just a little bit. Okay, so he has now. Okay, so I see you've pulled vills to go to wood. So I feel like what the build you were going for here was to age up as fast as possible since we did not make a lumber camp. So, like right now, I feel like you could be, you could have been, if these villagers to stay on food, queuing up to the next stage and getting that maximum age up time. Uh, if you're going to do this, I feel like you should have gone for lumber camp first and built this later. Because um, right now, in, in right now, okay, uh, get your age up in queue. You can cancel this villager right now and get that in queue. Um, I think you could have done that. I think you could have gotten maybe your queue in just a little sooner here. And, of course, uh, you got your economic wing going. A great age up option. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to be building a lumber camp next. So, so far, everything's pretty good. I think I'm sure uh, if you talk to some Amity Seed players, maybe have some uh, different things that maybe do at the beginning. But I think pretty good so far. And for those you're asking, yes, Amity Seed gets the same speed from berries as they would from hunts. Um, so, if you've not, same, same thing with Delhi. So, make sure you realize that. So, going to wood now. Um a lot of vills. Uh, I think maybe you could have built this lumber camp first and then brought these guys over uh, just because we had a lot of vills stacked up on lumber camps. I know as far as building, I believe there is diminishing returns at some point for how many villagers you put on it. Um, but it's just a little thing. So begin some wood. It'll be interesting to see what your game plan is. Now your opponent, he is playing as what Civ? Uh, he is playing as the English. Okay, so you can expect he's probably going to be coming with lots of longbows very early. So you need to be thinking about how are you going to uh, how are you going to counteract that? And for me, though, obviously it has quite uh, good spearmen. I do not like to make spearmen against them because they can go long longbow and man at arms. Um, so what I think your goal should be um, is to mass. Maybe your your own archers are faster. 
Um, but maybe some towers to secure your initial res. Uh, so, I mean, I almost wonder if a, I don't think a second town center would. I think that'd be maybe too risky here in this situation because you know Longwood's probably coming. He is going to go for a second town center, I assume, unless this is for a tower. Um, but you want to use towers to get good line of sight of what he's doing. Um, I think some horsemen and archers might be the way to go. Uh, it's tricky. You don't want to stay in H2 against uh, English too long. Uh, so we'll have to see what he ends up going with here. Now, the oh, we, we didn't we did not mention the approximate rank. This is around tw rank tw 12,000. Uh, I'll hopefully put that uh, in the description so you know when you click on this video. So hit the next age. Okay, we're going to get uh, fresh food stuff, so it makes your villagers 50% cheaper. I think that's a good uh, good option to go for there. Food's looking good. Wood's looking good. What's he going to drop? An archer range. Okay, I think that's a fine choice. Another archer range. So double archer range. Uh, now, if your opponent scouts this, he can really hard counter you right now. Now, hopefully you're going for some cav behind this. Uh, but this is a, a little bit risky. Are longbows here already? They are already here. I almost would prefer to get some towers down first, to be honest. But I'd be curious to see what some of the other players say they would do against English at this point in this matchup. I see you've been pushed off stone. And honestly, this is what I was kind of thinking is like, if you weren't going to heavy, get the exact stone you needed in transition. Uh, really needed a tower out here. Because now this 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 res is gone for a while. This is going to be gone for now. And you can try to produce these times two longbows or uh, archers. But the bottom of the line is he's producing these extraordinarily fast from his landmark. And now you've been pushed off the berries. Now you do have sheep to fall back on, which is okay. Um, but I would have liked to see in a tower because now you've kind of forfeited this res for some time. And now it could be a, a waiting game for you to run out of sheep. Um, don't lose any archers. Got to stay back. So the way you're going to play this, if you're going archers into longbows, you are faster than him. So you have to try to get him out of position and be able to, to kite and move forward and pick him off with a higher number. But it's going to be hard. I don't think you can even outnumber him with just two archer ranges at the rate that longbows are being produced. So I'm afraid like this is going to just be a losing battle right here. Um, so at this point in the game, I would have maybe rather seen a stable down uh, and some towers. Possibly things that I've been thinking of. Very cool. XMB and X. I will check that out. Uh, so yeah, I, I think this it's just this is a hard thing to deal with. Uh, the long was. Let's check out what he's got out here. And he, I mean, he's got you right where he wants. Let's see what he's going to be even doing. I mean, the, the he can do anything right now. You can't touch his eco. Uh, he's got you pushed off of the res onto sheep and and wood. Uh, you're currently house. Gonna fix that. Uh, I mean, other than like as far as your actual like micro and macro, like it's been okay so far. Nothing really too much to complain about. A little bit heavy on food. Maybe pull some guys off to wood. Could be a help. Uh, yeah, I just don't know like how you're going to win this archer war, though. Um, it's going to be challenging. This is going to be really challenging. Uh, my Usually my strategy against English is I want to try get some towers to buy me some time and try to get to Castle Age uh, so I can get some siege units. But this is going to be very, very tricky. Um, you got your times two archers. Uh, but he can also, like, if he mixes in horsemen right now, you'd be in a real world of hurt. Because uh, you have no spears and no cab, and he knows it. And you guys spend all that wood you have just to keep these archers going. So you've got 10 archers right now. Uh, he's got uh, 10 longbows. Yeah, if you can win a fight, like, you're great. But the problem is, is get, okay, now here we go. We got an engagement coming up here. I mean, I'd be careful. This is where, like, man, imagine, like, if you had a tower right here, not only could you use it for Lion Sight, like, you could see his movements outside of, like, his range, and you can know where he's doing, how to catch him out of position, use that tower to kite back to, and he's, like, not going to be able to fight. But, like, right now, here we go. He's already picked off one of your guys. He's healing. You've kicked, killed one, but he's already killed two of your units. Don't stand and take this fight. Uh, and honestly, like, I feel like you could have made him pop his ability and then fallen back, maybe. But yeah, you don't want to fight. Like, this could be the end of the game right here, I can imagine. Right now, you got seven against his, what, his six? You're doing okay. He's going to kite back. Uh, it's weird that he hasn't kite, been kiting back at all. He's just standing there. I guess he's just healing. Um, 
Not the worst. Not the worst. Oh, a scout? Yes, a scout could be tanking hits right now. Certainly. Um, you are doing a good job at, uh, of, of, of uh, focusing down one target at a time. Uh, so, I mean, you did okay here. I I would have waited for maybe a more favorable fight when you could have, like, easily uh, been, been taking him out versus, like, this kind of, like, small victory here. Um, cause, okay, here comes the scout. Because here, like, you're still not gaining any ground. Uh, in comes his scout to tank. Uh, you could have actually stopped villager production and, and trained a scout or, or two to, uh, to tank some damage. Would have been nice. Okay. Chat, anything you guys saw there in this engagement? What do you think about? Should he have taken this engagement? What do you think? So he's keeping the archery uh, production going, uh, which is nice. Uh, he's got villagers going. About to be house. Hopefully, he builds a house here for a second. Okay. Yeah. Now, okay. I see you're doing this now. Uh, honestly, if it was me, like with double archer range here in my army, I would have waited until this was ready with like just a few units. And honest, and, and even go for some scouts. They're cheap. Well, you have the food actually. It doesn't really matter. You've got the res. Maybe you have the horseman. I'm not sure. Uh, but wait, till you had those. Like, think of the difference that fight could have been with a few cav in there. Uh, and you're lucky, like right now, he doesn't have any spearmen. So no spearmen yet. Uh, it could have made a big difference. Yeah, look, 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 he's tanking, he's tanking. Right here, right here, this is bad. And usually in these positions, if you think you're gonna win a fight, you wanna be shooting moving forward, shooting moving forward. Uh, because you're faster than him and you don't want him to get away. So here we go, target these down, move forward, target these down, move forward. Um, so if he tries to run back, you can get him. Like this was an okay trade for you again. Man, where's the calf? I just imagining how like these first few fights have gone. If you had a bit of a calf in here, it would have been great. The double, double, double archery's range has been fine. I think adding a tower could have helped. Um, are you getting any of your, uh, you, I'd, be, I'd be working on my blacksmith right now and getting those techs in. Yeah, like, look at that. Look how much you force. You could have been dominating this fight with a few calves uh, in here earlier. Um, so this is good. I would would maybe chase this down. I don't know. He's like, I don't know. Maybe not. It's a hard, hard kind of call there. Um, but okay, so you're alive. You've survived for now. You're in an okay position. Um, what are you going to do here? Uh, going out to get gold on the side. So you've... I mean, I would... I, you've got the wood. Throw down tower. Throw down tower, tower, tower. Uh, man, I think that would make a big difference for you here. That's the big best deterrent you can have for longbows. Because he could pop out here um, and pick off a few villagers. You're lucky he's kind of sitting back, to be honest. Those hills need an outpost for that forest. And can you put one here? Honestly, I don't even think walling off. I don't think spinning the wood on that. Like, yes, you could wall the middle on this map. If you like, if you have map control right now, you could try walling this. But I think a few towers was all you need. Uh, I'd rather even see uh, a second uh, stable right now and starting to pressure. Because force him. Yeah, okay. So hopefully you're thinking about aging up right now because he's going to be hurling back. You don't want to be fighting into turtle longbows inside his base. And I have a feeling to make me be going for some man at arms. Um, and man, you do not want to be fighting man at arms. Okay, you see this, you know he's probably going for man at arms. I would I like almost guess it. He could tactically make spearmen, but he's better off making man at arms. But you're getting some picks. This is fine. I hope you take some shots and you back up. Pick off the villager here. Going for it. Like it. I like it. Okay, three barracks. You're about to get absolutely uh, rushed by man arms right now. He's committing. You're making some good picks. This is good. Fall back. Okay, we're going to do that. Going to pick a villager. Okay, you got to get out of there. Maybe could have picked out a villager, but now, like, you need to right now drop two stables. Maybe three stables. You want to have so many horsemen to deal with this. You've got the food in the bank. Or you could try to age. You could age. Maybe you'll be fine with aging. Let's see what happens here. I think you're going to age. And I think that's an okay call too. It's going to take him some time. Although I'm going to be nervous when these man arms start hitting. Uh, as we're just hitting the third age. Yeah. I think it's an okay decision. So, um, As far as so far this game. 
pretty good in general. Uh, I'm nothing like huge. I think maybe getting some of your blacksmith techs up could be helpful. Like get that range tech. Get get your archers upgraded. Could make a big difference when you're in this fight. Uh, throwing down some barracks now. I'm assuming I'm gonna go man in arms. Uh, some towers. This would have been great. I think towers could have really helped you. For me, I prefer to put towers, garrison a few units, and try to just age. Uh, rather than try to actually beat the longbows. But once you got him back here, like, I would almost consider just, like, throw a wall segment right here. But, I don't know. It's not worth the villager. Losing the villager. Okay, so he's edging up. So we're going to see how this plays out as we get in the second age. Right now, tower. Like, put a tower here. Like, if he pushes you off this food again, you're not going to have the, the sheep to fall back on this time. Uh, a tower here would be so nice. Now, you do have stone. I see you have 400 stone. Where are you gathering stone? Got these berries. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, boy. Yeah, you can't fight this. You got to run. And he's going to keep picking you off. You got to pull these villagers back right now. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, by the way, I, I'm pretty sure the engagement, if you're going to engage a fight like this, you want to engage the long bows before you engage the man arms. Because these man arms are going to tank so many shots while these longbows are, are dishing out the damage. And you are hitting those now, which I like to see. But, yeah, it, but, but, but another thing to consider, you're about aged up. You're about to upgrade your archers. Don't stand here and fight. Just fall back. Let him siege a few buildings or whatever he's going to do. Uh, wait till you get your units upgraded because you're just losing archers that are about to be uh, upgraded to veteran. Losing some villagers there. These should have been pulled back when you knew he was here. Um, right now, pull off. You could go to this gold over here right now. It would be better, but still wish there was a tower. Oh, boy. Oh, pull those villagers. Pull the villagers. Okay. Pulling them. Don't stand and fight this. These man arms are going to just... See, they're tanking as his longbows are just pulling you off. Yeah, so if you should be shooting at... You have good numbers of longbows, uh, of archers here. You could have probably been beating these longbows, I actually think. But even right now, pull back. You, you, a general rule... Uh, general rule... It's, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, we're losing. When you're aging, you don't want to be taking fights because you've invested in that age up and he's going to have more units in general. Uh, wait till your upgrades are in. Like this right here, you're just losing units, losing units, losing units. Uh, I think your, your age up was fine. You've got some man arms now, but he's got more. I, I really think if you had taken, when you were aging up here, fallen back, I'm going to say it a million times. Towers would have bought you some time, bought you some scouting. It would have scared them a little bit from engaging. Although the man arms could have dealt with them pretty swiftly. Uh, but early on, towers could help. But fall back, get your upgrades in. You got some crossbows coming. Now, you got to realize these crossbows will be countered by these, these, these longbows. Yeah, click the archers and then deal with the man arms. Okay, so here we go. Um, 26 idle veils. Not a great thing. I know you're just trying to micro, but get those veils back on, on business. Uh, you got the wood. I would throw down more production facilities because you got units up in queue, but you need to get these guys on food. Um, looks like you're running off to maybe down here or down to here, uh, which is fine. Um, uh, but you could have done this earlier. Okay. So you got to think about how you're going to deal with those longbows. Um, I feel like I'd be trying to get my man at arms on the longbows. Don't fight head to head with these man at arms. Let your crossbow try to deal with them. But it's going to be hard for you to. You know, need a lot of longbows. I think maybe another archery range could have been helpful here. Oh boy, don't take shots. Don't take shots. Are there upgrades in? Are there upgrades in? Oh my god, they're not upgraded. Oh. No, no. Uh. Mm. Okay, right here. I would pull. I think I'd almost would pull these villagers to go hit this ram right now. You're, you're doing this. Okay, I like it. Maybe a little overkill there. You have plenty of wood though. Um, but look at the longbow count. That's going to be the problem here. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Don't, he's, he's baying you in. Oh, no. Okay, you pull it back. This is fine. Um, but the longbows, pull your units back. You're, you're, you've got, he's got too many longbows. Um, yeah, and these, you're continuing to make crossbows, but at this point, he's got so many longbows. That's your primary concern. Uh, and now you're out of food. So, I mean, this game's pretty much over at this point. This is a really, you're in a very hard spot. Uh, I think a few towers could have been nice. I'm trying to think about what we could prove here. 
don't sit here and fight this with these numbers. You're just you're just wasting these crossbows. Uh, you know what you could do? You know what you could do here? Uh, you got wood. You could drop a siege workshop. I would put maybe even two siege workshops at this point. Throw all your veils. Like you had it, you had an okay number of crossbows. You had a few. Train some mangonels because he's in the second age still. A few mangonel shots could really back him off. Now this is kind of a desperate situation, but like if you're in, the, if I was in this situation right now and I'm not giving up yet, like that's it's your only hope out of this right now. Your crossbows aren't going to kill him, but you've been bleeding crossbows uh, this whole time. Um, now is not the time to go for a blacksmith. It's <laughs> this is way too late. Um, so yeah, this is GG from here. We'll, we'll speed it up. Yeah, Abyssins don't need the siege workshops for. Oh yeah, jeez, I, I totally forgot. I'm sitting here saying build a siege workshop. Oh, you could just straight up. Oh wait a. Oh jeez. Yeah, you you had this in the bank. When he's pushing you, you pull your whole army back here and you just make some siege units. I almost think you could have gone straight for Springold. Start sm sniping man arms. Uh, yeah, that could have made a huge difference. So, I think just the engagements. I think in general, your macro and my like your macro was okay. I don't think anything huge with villagers. Now we look at right now and it looks a little bit off. Um, but nothing huge there. Um, early on, if you're gonna make the commitment to go out for these resources, you know his long ways are coming. Throw the tower down. You gotta have a tower. You know the longbows are coming. Um, I always invest in towers against uh, English personally. Um, double archery range was okay. I almost would have considered a third building. Um, getting maybe getting that cav out a little sooner could have really helped in those fights. Wait, I like to wait until I can take a like decisive fight. I don't like to play this game of like, oh, I've got five and he's got six or something like that. Like, I like to know like I'm gonna smash this fight. And I think you had a, a long time ago at the beginning a good mass of archers you've been making. And then if you had just had prioritized getting your horsemen or scouts out sooner, even maybe training a few scouts from the town center or even one, you could have like wiped that first fight that you took. And from there, tried to uh, try to snowball on that. And then aged up like you did age up. And even if all things considered, when you hit that age three, it was still your game. It, I don't think this game was over. I think you could have pulled those units back here either made i don't know if you make springles or mangonel i almost feel like the mangonel are more expensive i think you just make springles and just keep kiting back and sniping keep kiting back and sniping um i think it's what you could have done uh you and you could have even as soon as you pop this age three trained a knight or two like if you had the res in the bank um because they would have just tanked some damage for you because these longbows would have struggled to snipe these la uh these lancers um so chat, anything else I miss? Anything, uh, I know we got a lot of good advice there going on there. Hopefully good advice. Anything big that you saw that uh, could have made the difference there? Scouting. I don't honestly think a ton of scouting would have made a huge difference. I think we knew what he had most of the time. Uh, I think you could have hidden some scouts up here though. And like you could just seen exactly when he was coming. But honestly, we knew it was coming most of this game, I feel. Uh, maybe pushing out of the map when your res were under pressure. <laughs> you can only out arrow fire them with double archers from Mongols. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, in general, what I would have done differently, use some towers. Take, had a more decisive that fight against those longbows you took here. Those those towers would have given you intel of where he was moving around your base. So you could have really figured out where's the time I'm going to move in with my cav and my archers and slaughter these things. And then age up, make siege. Get that siege up. That's your advantage. Um, not only that, don't take fights while you're aging. You're going to wait because you're going to pop these upgrades. Actually get your upgrades before taking the engagements. Um, could have made a big difference. Uh... And then just securing your resources. Uh, I don't think you should have been pushed off of your berries that early. With a few towers there, you could have been fine on those berries for a little bit longer. Uh, and this one would have been hard to get. But I think you could have secured this. Going for the stone, the stone was never used the entire game. I don't know if I was going to second town center. Like, yes, you can go to second town center, but you better get that down 
as fast as humanly possible because those longbows are coming, and that still is not going to deter longbows from poking in and picking your, your your archers off. I would almost rather spin the res on towers, personally. Or tower up and then put your like get your towers in place and then put your second town center down, or something. I don't know. I I just think, I think towers could have helped. Maybe I'm just obsessed with towers, but I think when in doubt, tower out. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much to MMXV for submitting this game for some review. Hopefully, we learned a little bit about this. And uh, leave your comments down below if you saw something maybe that I missed or maybe that I misspoke on. But I think uh, we had some things we could uh, get better on. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you in the next one.